Yo, reaction video to the patch note 7.07 because that's what uh, dropped today. So we didn't read it yet. We're going to go and read what's happening and react to it accordingly. So let's just go straight into the patch note. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger. All right, Valorant patch note 7.07. .07. Hi, everyone. Joe Allen here. Hey, Joe. Episode 7 Act 2 ends in just a couple of weeks, but we've still got patch 7.07 .07 until then. Below, you will be you will find a heaven update, performance update, and a few bug fixes. Heaven update. Interesting. And again, we're always listening to your feedback, so please send it our way. Competitive updates. After listening to your feedback, we have decided to remove the recent rank restriction made to five stacks that was implemented in 706. We know how important it is to play with your friends and you need to for flexibility in order to do that. Initially, the rank restriction was made to prevent people from illegitimately boosting to the highest ranks like Radiant. In the end, we realized that your ability to have flexibility with your five stack was more important than very small number of people who abused this exploit. However, we still recognize that boosting is a risk to competitive integrity and we are working on an appropriate long-term solution that doesn't impact your ability to play with friends in a five stack. Now, I'm pretty upset because even though, look, you see this wording here, we realize that that your ability to flexibility with your five stack was more important than a very small number of people who abused this exploit. The very small amount of people that abuse this in ranked is actually a huge portion of this rank. Because we only have 500 radiant per server. That means that if five people do it, five people do it, that means that a full 1% of the community is boosted illegally, right? Think about it that way. Actually, it's 5%. Right? Wait, I'm, no, I'm saying, never mind, never mind. 5% would have been 25. Yeah, so it's 1%. So it's actually, it is impactful. Because getting to Radiant is absolutely, incredibly rough and tough. And getting to it is a huge accomplishment for players. And now people who should be Radiant are not because someone else is getting there by cheating. This is a horrible, horrible update, and I'm very disappointed. And I, I, I will get right. I'll give you a solution, a very simple one. Do it like you have in League of Legends. Have a solo queue. So once you reach Masters, in this case Immortal, you can only solo queue. You can never, never even a, a, a duo, and have a flex rank separately with separate rank. Finished. You can play in flex rank with your friends if you care about playing with your friends in a stack and if someone cares about playing in a competitive environment that is not affected by other factors, there's solo queue for you. Very simple solution. That's it. But this this is this is poop. This is poop. I I really dislike this decision making and dislike the reasoning because the, the smaller number of people, yes, it is small, but it's a huge, it has a huge ripple effect. And just so you guys know, if we go, if we go to, um, to, uh, to the leaderboard, in EMEA, to be radiant, you have to get 677 points. You realize how hard it is to get to Radiant in EMEA. So someone, maybe Mr. Washed Winter, should have been Radiant, but he is not because three people are getting boosted by cheating by five stacking. And now those guys, the Winter, Crawlo, and Iox, cannot be Radiant because of those three people. How disappointing is that? It's very, like, ah. Just get us two ranks. Just make a real solo queue so we don't suffer anymore. Anyway, what is this? Map updates. Haven updated the destruction VFX for the destructible door panels located at mid doors garage in order to make it easier to see through it as it falls away. Okay. Never realized it's a problem, but that's nice. Wait, that's the change for Haven? Okay, then. Performance updates. 
enabled multi-threading rendering for discrete Intel GPUs and lowered the required CPU core count. Okay. I don't know who will be affected by that, but always nice to read stuff like this. Bug fixes. In general, 7.06 will fix a bug that allowed the game, the game to output surround sound where certain conditions were met, but the surround mix was untested and unsupported. Valorant currently only supports stereo and mono sound output. To simulate surround sound on headphones, we offer an HRTF setting. We do not recommend combining the HRTF setting in-game with other surround sound visualization software at the same time, since it this will result in double processing. Note that the other surround sound virtualization software cannot derive surround sound information from this stereo mix. W what's the bug? I actually don't understand. Well, I don't understand what was fixed and what is why is this being mentioned right now? Like in general, uh, it was known that if you are using HRTF in the game, you should not be using any other surround systems in your uh, other audio software. If you are, this is probably why you not hear anything in the game properly, right? So don't do that, All right? What is again? Um, Cypher, Neural Theft now completes even if Cypher dies after casting. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, hold my breath. Because this is the third time this is in the patch notes and every single time it wasn't fixed. So hopefully this time, but I'm holding my... I'm not holding my breath. Fix an issue where you could remain blinded if spectating a flash for Cypher... Cypher spy cam as the round ended well i had this bug when i was just in the camera not even when the round ended gecko this is e enemy detection range is now correctly reduced while inside of the viper's pit ability i swear to god i read about this already being uh, at some point but yeah if you guys go to go back to dz's um release i released a video when i tested like interactions and i said that dizzy is like the counter to Viper and Viper Spit because he's gonna tell you which direction are the players in the Viper Spit because he is not being obscured by the by the smoke. So kinda nice for Vipers, they changed that, but also sucks for geckos, I guess. Alright. Premier, fix an issue where the attacker team takes priority over the defender team in the overtime vote. Alright, all right, this is not important. Whatever. Uh, Alright, well, I was uh, being uh, I was being baited by chat, I guess, because you guys were saying that these patch notes are big. And they are not. So, yeah. Alright, well. I don't know, I'm, I'm upset about this competitive update. But it is what it is. See you guys next time.